Okay, I was standing at the bottom of the tailings for the Victorine mine. This is looking straight up the mountainside at all these tailings. And uh, the Victorine mine is up there on top of the ridge. You can't see from down here, obviously. And the Horton mine is over here to the right. And that's where I'm headed. And just a real quick shot here, looking around at the uh, canyon. Pretty spectacular scenery up here. Okay, the Horton Mine still has some water um, coming out of it. You can see it kind of pulled up here outside. And uh, here's the uh, portal. So let's go check this out. See if it's any drier than it was uh, a year ago when I was last here. Okay, just a few feet farther inside the portal, uh, you can see the yellow ventilation tubing that's still suspended from the uh, overhead. And there's a shot looking down the tunnel. Very dark foreboding tunnel, that's for sure. Okay, you can see here in the overhead that the uh, fencing they put up to hold back the rock is really rusted and corroded and is even broken in some spots like right here and some of the strapping metal strapping like right over there has also come out so this tunnel is very sketchy and it still has a very very creepy vibe but uh we'll keep going forward and see what we can uh, find out about this tunnel Okay, I just crossed over to where I thought the tunnel was drier, but you can see my footprint there. I sank in. Uh, that's probably a good four inches or so, five inches in the mud here. So I'll see how far I can get in this tunnel. Uh, it's still pretty wet and pretty muddy. And um, this is how far I've come in. There's the portal. Okay, I'm... Uh, further in than I was a year ago and um, that's how far I've come. This tunnel, the Horton Mine, was actually built, I did some research on this a few months ago and uh, this tunnel was dug in the uh, late 1970s or early 80s and it was used as a conveyor tunnel to get the ore out from the Victorine mine. It's about 900 feet higher on the mountain. And when I was up there at the Victorine mine um, a year ago, I noticed that uh, there was a, outside the mine was a, a borehole that they had drilled. And I believe that is the ore pass that uh, connects up with this tunnel. They, 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 they dug that ore pass so they could dump the ore down it and then have it trammed out this tunnel out there to the outside. So this tunnel was simply a transport tunnel and I heard it goes back 600 feet. And if I make it all the way to the back, we should be able to see the uh, shaft coming down from above. That's about a 900 foot shaft um, going up to the surface at the Victorine mine. Okay, the tunnel continues forward there. And I've reached the first little alcove here off to the left, right here, a little dugout area. And you can hear down there what sounds like a lot of water dropping or falling into the tunnel. Don't know if the video is picking that up or not. Okay, right here in the tunnel, the water is a little bit deeper. And uh, it seems like underneath the surface, there's a, a hard substance. It must be some sort of mineral buildup. You can sort of see it there around that rock. It's like a, um, a mineral kind of a buildup, and um, that just continues. And the water is flowing. I can see it right there. So it's not stagnant water, which can be a problem in abandoned mines if it's stagnant. Better to have flowing water. And there's the portal and all those chains. Okay, we're getting deeper. Here is some kind of... Uh, backfilled area on the other side of the tunnel. More ventilation tubing. 
And there's a lot of water up here coming in from somewhere. Well, I believe I've reached the end of the tunnel. I thought it was going to be a lot longer than this. Uh, I'd read 600 feet. Um, here's looking back at the portal. I don't know if that's 600 feet or not, but uh, maybe more like 400. But I think the uh, water is coming down the ore pass, the vertical shaft here at the end of the tunnel. So let me make my way over there with all this mud and check it out. Okay, right there is where the water's coming from, and um, right above that, you can see the metal ore chute that is part of the ore pass coming down there at an angle. And that came down right over here to this horizontal section right here. And then the ore was probably dumped out into the waiting tram car, and then they would just haul it out the tunnel in these motorized. Uh, tram cars to the portal. Okay, you can see some ladders there going up. There's one right there going up at an angle, and then there's one right above the ore chute right there. I don't know if there was a manway in the ore pass or not. There probably was. And uh, that would probably go up about 800, 900 feet to the opening that's outside the Victorine mine. And right here is the uh, end of the uh, ore pass. Um, you can see a grizzly in there, the bars, and uh, that would hold back the rocks that were too big to fit through while the smaller rocks would tumble through into the tram car that would wait right here and then it would drive it right out the tunnel. They were motorized, uh, kind of like a modified dump truck. And I'm not going to climb up these ladders and check all that out. It's too wet, too rusted. And 